yesterday, Gucci was forced to pull a $900 sweater off the shelves because, well, just look at it. Grub lovers, who ready to get their grub on? You know that I am. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another video for you guys. Oh my gosh, guys! Today, I'm gonna have me a little uh, McDonald's mukbang, but I really wanted to talk to you guys about this uh, uh, this new uh, issue that's going on with the designer brands. You got the Gucci, the Prada. Uh, right now, it's the hashtag uh, cancel. Gucci cancel right now. Um, so if some of you guys may not know, the situation was Gucci the designer, okay, not Gucci man. Gucci the designer came out with um, with a new uh, shirt that has the the black face on it, and it's been uh, causing a lot of controversy. It's been stirring up a lot of controversy. Um, you know, because, you know, the blackface symbolizes, uh, a bad time in, in black history. And then to actually do that on black history month, is kind of like a double, a double whammy, uh, if you want to call it that for, uh, less argument's sake. But the issue was, uh, they came out with the blackface. Um, and Prada's done it before. They had the black face on their bag. So as you can see, or not see, I should say, people don't really rock Prada like that anymore. So Gucci just came out with it for a shirt, right? And I'm going to show you guys the shirt. Um, this shirt here is just like complete racism written all over it, right? Um... And for, for those of you who don't uh, don't know or aren't familiar with the blackface, I'll give you a slight clip to kind of give you an idea of the comparison. Give you change. Now, this was big, you know, back in the 50s and stuff, they, they did this a lot on TV, um, you know, in plays and all, so, I mean, it's a big step backwards, guys, and for Gucci, not understanding that a lot, if not majority of their buyers are African American, so we have been the forgiving type, believe it or not, I know in the, in the media it doesn't seem like it, but Anytime there's been racial uh, situations that's occurred in the public eye, we've always accepted the apologies and moved forward. Side note, gotta love McDonald's chicken nuggets. But, like I said, we've already always, um, you know, taken the I would say high road. I know there's a lot changed in, in 40 years. You know what I mean? Like, we didn't take high roads a lot back in the days. You know, but we're learning. So, in the process of doing so, we kind of expect that it's a mutual understanding that everybody will learn at the same pace. But it doesn't work that way, obviously. And I understand. Because what we don't realize is uh, a lot that's going on today is still going on because of the people who are still in power you know it's not the young generation it's not the new millennials you know what I mean it's the older people that are still running the show every now and then they gotta throw it out there to, to let people know regardless of who supports me this is who I am and this is who I will always be. And it's sad to see that. Because, I mean, I like Gucci. I like their design. I like, you know, the um, majority of their concepts. 
though. I like this scarf too. Things it kind of gives off a more of a royal presence. And a lot of people, you know, enjoy it. I like their suits. So I just feel like this is a poor move. I mean, definitely against blacks, African Americans. But even more so in general to your consumers and the people who support your brand. And I just feel like it was a complete uh, lack of respect. And that the apology shouldn't be accepted at this point. Let me tell you why I say that. I mean, okay, so the, just to apologize doesn't justify anything okay um, it's just it just doesn't work this time so what people fail to realize is and I've, I've seen a few people comment on the situation and say you know but you know how does this still bother people or you know why is this still considered a big deal well here's my thought when you see something like that right how do you look at that and say this is premium fashion what part of that design screams good idea So, when people usually apologize, usually for making a mistake, something that you wouldn't look forward to doing again, something that was poorly thought through, or not thought through at all. apologize for wasting you know uh, bumping into somebody in the club and wasting the drink on them. You apologize for uh, cutting in front of somebody when you're driving. Because it's a mistake. come out with a clothing line and a new design for that clothing line you have to go through a panel of people you have to run tests it's nothing that happens overnight nothing that happens at an instant takes planning to get that approved so what I'm trying to understand is when the idea was presented it took that first person that said we should do this and the next person say yeah it'll probably work because I don't think you know African Americans really care anymore Most of them aren't paying attention anyway. And then they take it to a panel. And when they vote, the majority say, ah, good idea. Then, they go to the models who just trying to make they living and say yeah put this on this is going to be a hit walking this one so you have a model white model put on the black face
with the with the, the collar part that pulls up over and covers the mouth so that you can have the black face with the red lips. I mean, it's clear as day what you attempting uh, to promote. Man, it's not right. You know, at the end of the day, it's not right. You know, I know people like, oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to say no, lose the job. Took me forever to get here. But some things just aren't worth it. You know what I mean? So, me personally, um, I just can't do it. I'm going to have to join the movement and cancel the Gucci because... like by accepting those terms accepting what they're trying to push on people is me saying I agree with it and I don't so Gucci shame on you guys I expect it better Today's word, guys, is equality. To treat others as you would treat yourself, granting them the benefit and respect that you will perceive to have for yourself. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Simple as that. So, shout out to you know some of the celebrities who uh, took the time to address the issue as well because I know they're bigger supporters than some of us you know they spend tons and tons of, of dollars on these brands every year so shout out to you know people utilizing their platform to address issues hoping that we were in a better state of mind these days. Crazy part, it seems like it happened every few years. They'll break off, do right, think people distracted and then eat something else in. It's just wrong. So, those who are offended and affected by it, like our parents and grandparents who had to live through these moments, see them resonate again those are the people I feel really sorry for because we live through them you know terrible anyway guys We'll be staying on top of this um, as it updates. I'll update you guys, but <sighs> tough day in America. That's what it is. So, comment below. Let me know how you guys feel about the situation. You know, it's an open forum. Nobody will be judged, whichever way it falls. Okay. Until next time, you guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's your boy, Mr. Grub. I'm out.